Okay, let's turn on the MindLab Mantic Core and talk a little bit about the display, what we see here, the buttons, what they do, and go into some of the settings and the cool features that the Australian engineers have put into the machine. First, let's start with the display. This number changing here is the conductivity of the metallic object that you find. I'm indoors now, so it's going a little bit bonkers. Uh, here we have the depth, the more arrows, the further down your object is in the ground. Battery life and the field mode, the setup mode that you're on, I'm on beach mode now. The frequency, I'm using all frequencies with the multi IQ+. Plus. Sensitivity is there and you can switch sensitivities by going left and right. Scale is from 0 to 35. And when you're starting to get a lot of noise and uh, ghost signals, then your sensitivity is too high. When you don't find anything, your sensitivity is too low. Easy peasy. And here we have the 2D graphical visualization screen. There will be a separate video of that because that one is a little bit more complex. Here, this button, it's really intuitive. I press it, the, the line there goes to the horseshoe, so I know that it will turn on and off the iron. Now I can hear the iron. Now, uh, now the iron is discriminated. The, that button, of course, the cog goes into the settings, and this one goes right now to the ground balancing. I should also mention that the key on the side here, this one and that one are called soft keys and are adjustable. We can go into the settings in a little bit and have a look at that, but now it's turned to, but now I have them turned to iron discrimination, uh, ground balance, and this one I believe is the yes favorite mode. I can switch between between two modes here, the mode I'm using and Let's say if I go to a different field or the beach, I can press here and or the ground changes. Easy and quick. Uh, these are arrows for navigating the settings and left, right, the sensitivity. But the down arrow is also the pin pointer. You can see the crosshair there. So when I find a target, I press it once. And now I can quickly locate when it's in the middle of the coil, when it's underneath the middle of the coil, and press it one more time to turn it off. So that's pretty much the display. This button here turns on the wireless, it tries to connect to my headphones and turn it off. That one on and off the detector, and this one is a quick setup for the lighting. Here I can adjust the brightness of the display. Let's keep it that way. And the keypad here, you can see how they illuminate on and off. And then there's a flashlight also, which is a cool feature. I turn it on and let's put some more power and you can see that it illuminates the coil there. Might be good if you're hunting in the dark. But these, of course, drain a little bit more battery when they are on, so use them carefully. All right, let's go into the settings. Now there's everything here between heaven and earth, and it quickly gets quite advanced. But for this video, we will just go to the general settings and have a look around there, because that's where some of the cool stuff is. Like uh, this, the brand new feature of the Manticore vibration. So you can turn it on, and now when you find the target, get a signal, the handle here, it vibrates. Which is a kind of a strange feeling, but I think it's good when you're diving and such. It's a nice cool feature. And down here is the lighting menu. If I press left, or if I press right, like the arrow indicates, I open up the menu. And if I want to go back, I just press that one. It's super intuitive. And this uh, lighting menu is the same as that button there that we previously pressed. And here we can uh, adjust or change the soft keys that we also talked about. 
let's go in there and the soft keys once more is this key that one and that one that's that one and that one goes to let's see there if i want to switch something let's see i want to I don't want this button to do ground control. I can adjust it to be, hmm, let's say, hmm, what do I want? What do I want? Noise cancel. Let's do noise cancel. You see, there's lots of choices here. And that means when I go back to my home screen and detecting symbol there changed, I can quickly do a, do a noise cancellation by pressing that button. Really cool and and uh, fast. I really like that feature actually to have lots of buttons for your favorite stuff. You can do factory reset. Let's not do that right now. And if you are a nerd like me, you can go into the software info and have a look at the technical stuff. But that was a quick overview of the display and buttons and there's lots more instructional videos of the Manticore that I made. So check out our YouTube channel.